Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. So, hope you guys are all having a good day. I'm uh, kind of in between baseball games. My son has a doubleheader, so we're taking up out a half an hour break, so I figured I'd post a video and let you guys know what I just found. Uh, I think it was yesterday or this morning. Um, I, I read both sides of the story, just so I can be more informed about how crazy the left is. So, there was an article in the Huffington Post by, um, I don't know if she's uh, just a contributor or she's a writer for the Huffington Post, but she's obviously a, um, a Democrat, a left-wing nutjob liberal. And her article was about how she doesn't feel safe, or she doesn't think it's safe for her two young kids to go to her in-law's house anymore because her in-laws are conservative Republicans. So she thinks that she feels that her kids aren't in a safe environment at her in-laws house because they might um, start telling her kids the truth about, you know, how the world is and it's not all unicorns and rainbows. So again, the intolerant left telling uh, or, or taking away the grandparents of her kids because they have differing viewpoints. That's not tolerance. That's intolerance. There's, I think differing viewpoints is a good thing for kids. They can see, you know, all right, well, this is what your grandparents think. This is what we think. What do you think? Not, and, 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 and kind of give them both sides of the story. So let, I have it on my other phone here. Let me, let me, look, let me read you some of the, the key points that this woman makes um, about her kids going over the um, the grandparents' house. So these are the these are the key points from the Huffington Post. So her her key points are, are are complaints, I should say. Their tolerance only extends to people they know and understand, and those people are white straight American people. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? As conservatives, we all know that we tolerate everybody. It's the left that doesn't tolerate everybody. As pointed out in this article. And, and I think it's kind of funny that she writes this article about tolerance not realizing that she's being the intolerant one. Uh, crazy. So here we go. Um, my father-in-law once had to leave the room when two men kissed on TV. Disgusting. He whispered under his breath with an earshot of my son. Uh, I think it's disgusting. I don't agree with it. But again, it's not my place to judge you. I, I don't. I don't really. If, you, if that's your your thing you want to do, man, go for it. Do I think it's right? No. Do I think it's disgusting? I don't think it's. I, I, it kind of grosses me out. I don't want to see two dudes kissing. So what? Really, what's the problem there? Um, let's see here. Oh, when my when her one year old through a tantrum and I accused him of being a drama queen her mother-in-law gently corrected me it's drama king okay big really big deal drama king drama queen kids bringing dramatic whatever that's that's a um, showing intolerance really oh this <laughs> this is funny right here when they asked them to stop watching right-wing cable news in the living room of our home, they 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 switched to their computers. Okay, well you asked them to stop watching right-wing cable news in their in your living room, so they watched it on their laptops. What's the problem with that? How about you let them watch what they want to watch? They let you watch what you want to watch. It's not a big problem, is it? No. And how does your freaking husband feel that you're telling him that your kids can't go over to his parents' house? I mean, obviously this chick wears the pants in the family, and, and this guy's got no backbone to tell her that it's his family, and, you know, his kids have every right to see his parents, but maybe he's just as nuts as she is. Um... My in-laws oppose abortion in any and all circumstances, but they appear unbothered by the idea of migrant kids in cages at the country's border. 
I disagree wholeheartedly with abortion. I, I, I think it's an abhorrent thing that we have in this country. Um, there are other ways you can adopt a kid. Get rid of your... If you don't want to have a child, there's adoption. I'm sorry. But there are ways around abortion. And for her to call these kids migrant kids in cages, give me a freaking break. They're not migrant kids. They're illegal immigrant kids. And they're not in cages. So, again, she's obviously getting her news from some left-leaning program where they're just saying, oh, look at the little migrant kids in cages. No, bullshit. Sorry, they're illegal immigrant kids. They're not in cages. They're separated from their parents because we need to find out um, what, the, what, the, what the status is. That, that's it, man. So, again, um, you know, she's obviously lost her mind and um, she writes this whole article about tolerance and how she expects her in-laws to be tolerant etc etc of their viewpoints and she is the one who's being intolerant to their views she expects them to conform to her and she's now threatening to take their grandkids away or, or let them not see her their, her their grandkids because she doesn't agree with their views. Come on, let them have, you know, their grandkids over for a visit. It's really I, I they're they're young enough that they're not going to form an opinion on the world around them. I mean, for a kid at I don't even know how old her kids are, but I'm assuming they're they're young kids. For them to assume um, a political view at such a young age. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And and honestly, how many of us know kids that really care about politics when they're, you know, under who under 18, really? I mean, not many kids really give a shit about politics. So let them have their grandkids. Let them have the time they do have with them because they're in their 70s. So they're not getting any younger. But be tolerant. I mean, that's the whole thing is just be tolerant of everybody's viewpoints. But again, the left is showing us that they they don't care. If you don't see it their way, then you're the enemy. Um, oh, she says one thing down here. Very end of the... A very end of the article, and I apologize for this, but... Um, it says... Oh, and what I need to be sure of 20 years from now, when I look at my grown children down the telescope of their lives is that I did everything to protect them from evil. So she's now equating conservatives with evil. Intolerance, intolerance, intolerance. So that being said, got to get back out here to the baseball game. You guys have a great day, and always remember to stay on the right side. See you guys soon.